Good morning, everyone. John McDermott here with the League of Uncommon Men podcast. Today, I'd like to talk about a situation that many of us have faced in the past, be included. It's called going from being convicted of a crime to redemption in Christ. Being convicted of a crime can feel like the end of the road. The weight of the guilt, the consequences, and the shame can be overwhelming. However, conviction, even in the legal sense, does not have to be the final chapter of your life. Through Christ, there is always a path to redemption, no matter the depth of our mistakes. Conviction and the reality of sin, the Bible reminds us that all of humanity is guilty before God, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Whether we face earthly judgment through the courts or experience the conviction of our own conscience, the reality is that we all need grace. A conviction for a crime often brings a person face to face with the reality of their actions. In that moment, it can seem like everything is lost. However, Jesus offers hope even in the darkest moments. When a criminal was crucified next to Jesus, he recognized his own guilt and confessed, we are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. Luke twenty three forty one. Yet, in that same moment, he turned to Jesus and asked for mercy, and Christ responded with grace. Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Luke twenty three forty three. This shows that redemption is available to everyone, regardless of their past. Redemption through repentance. True redemption begins with repentance turning away from sin and turning toward God. The Apostle Paul, once known as Saul, was a man who persecuted Christians and was responsible for their deaths. Yet, when he encountered Jesus, he was transformed. Paul later wrote, But for that very reason I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of the sinners, Christ Jesus, might display his immense patience. 1 Timothy 1.16 No matter how far you've fallen, grace is greater. Isaiah one eighteen reminds us of God's promise. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. The stain of sin can be removed, even when it feels impossible. When you repent and ask for God's forgiveness, he wipes the slate clean. This does not mean there are no earthly consequences, but it does mean that our eternal standing with God can be restored. A new life in Christ... Once we've repented, we are called to live a life transformed. Jesus offers us a fresh start. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. Through Christ, we are no longer defined by our past mistakes, including any criminal convictions. Our identity is found in Him, not in our failures. This new life requires a shift in how we live. Ephesians 4.22-24 urges us to put off our old self, which belongs to your former manner of life, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. While legal systems may still enforce consequences for past actions, Jesus offers spiritual freedom and a new way of life, one marked by love, righteousness, and purpose.